Hey guys, Sandy with Tumor's Coffee here telling you why your coffee shouldn't taste sour. The number one reason your coffee may taste sour is it was under roasted. Um, under roasting is a very pop thing right now. They call it blonde roast, they call it light roast. And what happens when you under roast the coffee is you don't bring out all of the symphony of constituents. That's a big way of saying all the different flavor components. Excuse me, let me put my notebook down all the different flavor components that are in the coffee bean are not developed by a light roast. When we roast coffee here at Tumor's Coffee, we look uh, for two significant uh, marks. One is what we call the first crack, and then one is called, the second one's called the second crack. And these are temperature ranges. We use an infrared roasting process, which the cool thing is it roasts a lot cooler, but that's an infrared roaster. And if I pull those beans, say, just into the first crack, which is the traditional method for a light roast or a blonde roast, right into that first crack, what you're going to get is a bean uh, that's very light. Looks something like this picture I'm showing you now. Okay, it's a very light roast, and because of that, a lot of the components in the bean that give you the caramel flavors, the uh, brown sugar flavors, the chocolate flavors, which most people taste more often than not, and even getting into the richer notes that you get in, say, a French roast, none of those components have been developed. And all you're getting are the easiest notes, and those are the citrusy notes, the sour notes. That's an under-roasted coffee, so you're really not getting a good um, uh, idea of what that bean can produce by going with a light roast or a blonde roast. Now this is a kind of a standard tasting wheel, and you will see here, and I'm going to, we'll do some uh, close-ups here. The, the wheel will start here with sour. Okay, down in this range here, this, these are more the flavors you get with a... Um, way under roasted bean. A light roast is going to give you somewhere in this range, this yellow, this sour notes, the citrus fruit, the lime, acetic acid, things like this. But then as the roast progresses into a medium roast and then on into a dark roast, you're going to pick up all of these flavors. And so when you do a, uh, an under roasted coffee, a blonde roast, a light roast, all you're getting is this is it. This is all you're going to get. Whereas when you go with a medium roast, you can pick up some of this, but this now blends with some of these flavors, and that's where the complexity comes. And when you get into some of your darker roast coffees, or you get into your natural process, like our Yerga Chef um, Aricha Gadio, which is not really a dark, dark roast, but because it's a natural process coffee, see, that throws another whole aspect into this, which is kind of cool, and that's the natural um, sugar uh, that you get from the fruit around the bean, which is absorbed into that bean through the natural drying process as opposed to a wash process. And we'll have other videos talking about natural versus wash versus semi-wash later on. But, but suffice it to say that when you go with a light roast or a blonde roast, that is in my book called under roasted coffee. And that's why it tastes sour. Now, if you get a coffee that is a medium roast coffee and it has a sour taste. That's where you get into the term that everybody uses, I think, overly, and that's under extraction. Now, under extraction has to do with the fact, um, can be caused by several factors. When we teach uh, with our shops, our client shops, when we do classes on how to pull the perfect espresso, uh, the grind of the espresso, the tamp into the portafilter, the pressure of the water going, all these things can factor into giving you a, a under-extracted coffee. But for most of you out there that are uh, just brewing coffee at home or doing a pour over or an AeroPress or something like that, and you're getting sour coffee, first off, I say, check the roast. If it's a light roast or a blonde roast, that's where that's coming from for the most part. But the second thing would be if, you're, if you've got a medium roast, a good coffee, and it still has a sourness to it, I would check your grind. You probably have too coarse of a grind. When the grind is too coarse, uh, there's not as much surface area, and the water passes over it, and what comes out are just the easiest notes to come out, which are the citrus notes. 
the finer the grind, there is more water. Uh, the water is going over more surface area of that bean. If you think about it, think of like a, a bag of rocks versus a bag of sand. And if you run water over that, the bag of sand is going to be heavier because it's holding more water. The rocks, the water just runs over it. Well, that's kind of the way it is with a coarse grind and a finer grind. So I would suggest trying a little bit finer grind and just experiment. There's no formula. It's just till it tastes right for you, but I would say go with that. The other would be possibly uh, that you're not leaving it in the water long enough in the uh, case of, say, a French press. Now, with French press, we tell people when we we were training our employees in the shop, um, well, I've heard people say this, well, if I want a stronger French press, I just let it sit in the water longer. Well, that's wrong. Okay, if you want a stronger cup of coffee or you want more caffeine, don't let it sit too long because then it will become over extracted, it will become bitter. You might get a little more caffeine, but if you want more caffeine, you just simply add more coffee. The thing I'm getting at with the French press is you always want to stick with the same amount of time. Okay, so getting back to under extraction in the French press, what can cause that is not leaving it the water on there, the hot water on there long enough before you press it and pour it. So if you take our coffee, say our Costa Rican, you do it in the French press and it tastes fine, um, and you put the coffee, a different coffee in there, and it tastes sour to you for some reason. Uh, in that case, you may want to try changing that grind, or you may want to try changing, raising that time just a little bit. Uh, that typically isn't going to happen. Uh, the sourness with French press is usually people who are just getting started trying French press, and they say the coffee tastes sour. Well, again, the same thing I say, the number one reason is the, the roast of the coffee is too light of a roast. Go with a, a darker roast. And then if it still tastes sour, you're going to a medium roast, you're still getting that sourness. Well, then that would tell you that either you're ground too coarse, which is hard to do in French press, but more likely you're not leaving the water on there long enough. But that's a whole different thing. That's where we get into true under extraction, over extraction, and we'll do a separate video on that. But suffice it to say right now that if you get a bag of coffee and you try it and it has a sourness and you're making your coffee the same way as you do every day, you're using the same grinder, the same grind setting, you run the beans through there and it comes out and it tastes sour, this is probably the problem. You're going with too light of a roast. Go with a more medium roast. Stay away from the blonde roast. Stay with the medium roast. And that's it for today. All about sour coffee and why you shouldn't put up with that. Go with a medium roast. Have a great day. I'm Sandy with Tumor's Coffee.